Hello America, my name is Matthew B. Moore and I'm here on a mission to keep you from renting crap. And I'm all sweaty today because I've been out mowing the yard, but I had to come in and talk about this wonderful movie. Bam! Thirteen Ghosts. Ooh, it's a scary movie about thirteen ghosts! The, the, the title. <laughs> Don't let that throw you. It really does suck. Now, I own this movie, so you can point a finger at me if you want. <laughs> like, because <laughs> I, well, I'm sorry. Because, <laughs> you know, I do that to myself for owning it. Mm, the basic story is this. A man loses his wife, and then six months later, a rich, eccentric relative of his dies. Since he and his family are having financial problems, they decide to move into the rich relative's house. But it's all a setup to bring them there, to unleash the evil that is 13 ghosts in a great big crazy looking glass house. Ooh. The reason that I own it is it's one of those movies that has a really good kind of scary concept behind it that interests me. Someone can open a door to hell and take 13 ghosts of 13 situations and place them around this circle and open this gate to hell and do all kinds of bad things that bad people do in horror movies. The production design is just amazing. The, the glass house, it'll blow your mind when they activate it and it moves and all this kind of stuff and it starts opening doors downstairs and the ghosts get out. Uh, the opening scene is a little over the top, uh, <laughs> but it's entertaining. Now, once it reaches a point after the opening scene and you get into the story, the directing and the acting turn to mush and it becomes a real doo-doo ride. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Special effects are interesting and worth a look. Uh, it's bloody and gross and has all those crunchy bone type moments that you might want out of a good horror movie. If you like being entertained by, you know, cool looking ghosts, cool looking makeup, moving glass walls, uh, a set that's designed after a curse or something like that, that's beautifully decorated and I mean, it's just intriguing from every angle they put it in with the camera and it must have been thought of by, you know, Leonardo da Vinci, I don't know. And, and if you're into that and you can handle loving that, you can sit through the rest of this poo-poo platter. Crap. Oh, dog. This one gets a special Humpty. This is, this is, no, this is pre-Humpty. Ah! This movie bites! This movie is as bad as Eddie Murphy's party all the time. And I just want to let you know, again, if you're drunk or it's late night and it's USA, maybe. Other than that, oh man. Or again, if you like the sets and you like that interesting kind of stuff and you like to watch from an artistic standpoint. Other than that, dance to the Murph. I need one of those microphones with like the little pantyhose in it that you're singing to in the video. And, and hold my hand on my ear. Yes, that's how bad this movie is.